Hello, and thank you for joining me for episode 4 of Worm Unlimited Let's Play. Um, I'm very sorry about the last video, if you've seen it, uh, where the bottom of the screen was chopped off. But I just wanted to get it so that you was able to see what I, all what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me, all what I'm doing when I'm hovering over different items in my inventory when I'm showing you the skills. And I went to hell and back, going through all sorts of options. Worst thing you can do it for what was it three o'clock in the morning? But thankfully, I have hopefully now succeeded and uh, got it to not perfect but got it to an acceptable level. So, let's uh, start this Let's Play. In this um, episode four, I want to, let's have a look in my inventory. You see, I've increased all of the font size. And here is um, Bertie the Pike, who I caught in, at the end of the last episode by fishing. Just to recap on that, I activated the fishing rod by double left clicking choosing a tile, right clicking and choosing let's see, oops I hadn't activated it, that's why silly me, okay and then fish and then of course it took two and two minutes fifty seconds. It is a long, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. It is a long process to start with when you fish. So if I just quickly do that, you see it starts at three seconds. In fact, I will just right click and stop though, because I don't want you to go through another <coughs> process of me catching the fish. Here we have Bertie, and we're going to now put him in the cooking pot. So that's one of the things we're going to cover in this let's play we're going to create a campfire okay the most rudimentary basic form of cooking in the game because guess what we're stuck here butt naked on a side of a hill in the middle of the wilderness we don't have uh, any designer clothes we don't have anything in fact I'm not even going to show you what I look like but uh, so here we are really basics we're going to cook with a basic camping fire um, there, you can advance to an oven, which we will do in another episode uh, when I cover farming. Um, I won't leave that too long. I will try to cover that as soon as I can, but I'm trying to work out what the most important things are so someone can enjoy this game to the fullest, and that means with minimum amount of deaths. So, okay, we're going to go cover cooking, and then I'm going to go over another thing which will make the game hopefully much more enjoyable for you binding of the keys we're going to bind some useful common keys that we use I'm going to show you go over the keys that I use there's two ways that you can bind keys I'm going to go over the one I'm going to show you the old school way okay and there is another way that they've improved upon in recent months that I wasn't aware of. I don't know when the improvement was made, but they're, they're doing improvements all the time. It's like, <laughs> you know, they are really aiming for the perfect game. So I'm going to show you the newer way of creating bind keys, or tell you about it, and I will show you the old school way. So if we have any time left over, then I might start an introduction into farming, but I doubt very much. You've seen how I've gone so far. I, I, I've been running a minute or two over. It's because I pro probably talk too much, but I have got some really lovely comments so far about how they are actually picking something up from these videos. So I intend to carry on in that uh, way. So let's go then and start cooking. Because as you can see, my food level up there is now on 60% my nutrition is on 20 uh, and just to, while I'm on that subject the nutrition nutrition is on 20% and I said in episode 1 that we want to get it to 99% well that ain't gonna happen anytime soon I trust me to get the nutrition up you have to do you'd have to do a 99 quality level meal of the highest caliber uh, as far as I'm aware so nutrition we're happy if we can get that to 50 percent so okay let's start we're gonna need a pumpkin and let's go over now why I keep mentioning pumpkins over all the other food there's loads of different vegetables that you can find and herbs in this game 
um, but we're going to go with a pumpkin to start with which is my personal favourite I've just got to find where I put Mr Pumpkin apt as it's going to be Halloween soon ok let's have a look oh here's the pumpkin right so we will take the pumpkin and we have a log good so we can close that ok let's do the campfire just here so what we're doing we're going to cook up some food so we can stop being so hungry and also hopefully do it won't be a great big huge amount of food okay we can add more components to the cooking pot like oh let's add a potato as well that'd be nice wouldn't it healthy so you can see there I've, I've already done a casserole earlier and its weight is four so that's reasonable but let's do one now so you can see how to do this okay doing a campfire so on the last video where the bottom of the screen was chopped off I'm very sorry again about that but the, the button I was talking about that I was clicking on was this one here far right button says crafting as you can see now hopefully fingers crossed okay left click that that brings up the crafting window so we want to do a campfire here you can see in the bottom left corner toggle crafting recipes so we left click on that that will now bring up a recipes window if we type into that camp we can now see campfire if I expand that we can see we need a steel and a flint which going back to episode one was one of the tools that we were given we will in a very later episode I mean it's gonna be a while before we get to steel but we will be working with steel we'll be making some lovely armor okay but what I want to do I want to make this slow but sure progress we're gonna go through leather armor we're gonna go through chain armor and we'll work our way up but I'm sidetracking myself sorry about that okay so back to the campfire we need a steel and flint and we need kindling okay so to create kindling we need a wood scrap okay but let's let's stick to using this for now so to create a kindling double left click on kindling it will now show us how to create kindling we need a carving knife and a log both of which I have so we will right click on kindling and we will left click add starting items to crafting there we go so that will now create us the kindling if I click create and off it goes see there and there okay failed so what I can do that's good I'm glad that it failed because it gives me an opportunity to show you something else which is very important and fundamental in the game with different resources and components as some of the resources as you chop them up as you uh, use them they become smaller in in weight in and quantity and so what you can do when you've got similar similar items of that particular resource you can left click on the very bottom one last one in the stack and then right click on the top one the very first one in the stack and then you can left click combine and watch what happens here with the different weights because there's if we look at this there's three wood scraps one weighs 50 one weighs one and one weighs 0.50 so 0.50 1 and 0 0.50 so if I now right click on the top one left click combine okay we've got two so it's because one was willow and one was uh, a different type so we'll double left click again the, the last one right click the first one and combine okay now it will always put it right to the bottom of your inventory when you combine two items notice now the weight has gone up to two so when you mine it mining rock shards which we will get to more of the mining but I'm not going to take you into the mine yet because there's nothing worse than watching a video where everything's too dark for you to see oh is it just a coincidence that all my let's plays have started in the morning I think not so getting back to my point before I start straying okay and there's enough dogs around here 
without me doing the same. So, okay, we have our wood scrap and we was trying to create this kindling. So what we do, now that we've combined the wood scrap, actually, after all of that explaining, we're just trying to create a kindling from the log. Okay, so that's all right. Wasn't harmful. We'll try again. This wasn't actually the same thing, but here we go. Right, we've created our kindling. Now that we have the kindling, we can go back up to here and we will type in camp again. Okay, so campfire. Now we see that we have the steel and flint and we have the kindling. So what we do, I'm going to close that recipe to show you this. So what we can do, we'll double left click and activate our steel and flint and then right click on the kindling create furnaces and campfire and as we do that we'll see the progress bar and there we are a lovely campfire okay when you create a campfire the first thing you have to do is you have to put fuel into it if you don't the campfire will go out and turn to ashes very quickly so what we'll do one of these logs we won't use the precious pine uh, the precious willow we'll use our pine log now when you add fuel to a fire a furnace um, or any of the oven when you're adding the fuel it will use up to 20 weight if the weight is over 20 like for example our pine log is at 22 the 2.67 would be wasted because it's only going to use up to 20.00 I don't know if they've changed that. I will presume it's still the way it's always been, okay? Because I don't see a need for them to have changed that. So what we will do to save wasting that 2.67, because we are still naked and on bare resource, uh, bare tools here, we'll use the carving knife. Right click on the pine log, pine pine log. Oh, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. And we will create a kindling. Just to use up that extra little bit of because uh, kindling is always useful I almost made it but I failed and it's good to practice is it not see the as you get better the percentage goes up so by practicing we will get it so it almost never fails okay I failed again so off we try again hopefully that fire won't go out with our long arm taking yeah, there we go. I created the kindling. So notice now the weight's gone down to 21.7. I don't care about missing that last little 21, that 1.17. So we activate the pine log, right click the bonfire, and left click burn. That now gives fuel. You see down here it says you fuel the campfire with the log. So there we are. Now, if I double left click on the campfire, you'll see it gives me a description I believe that's the same is it the same let me just check something quickly sorry okay it looks like it's the same let's move that up just a little bit to stop this being so painful okay so I believe it's the same as if I left click and examine which is what I was speaking about last time yeah so you can either right click the campfire left click examine or double left click the campfire and it will give you the description down here first of all it tells us a nice and easy campfire it is made from willow it cannot be improved quality level 1.0 as you improve with every item in this game as you improve its quality level this will burn I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this will burn for longer and possibly give a bit more heat off although you can't obviously be having a furnace a forge or an oven an oven oh I'm not gonna stray I was tempted but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna try and control myself from now on okay so there's our campfire there's it telling us that the fire burns steadily and will still burn for a long time which it will because I put a full 20 into that campfire fuel wise there is lots of different fuels you can use. I'm using logs, you can use peat, 
and you can use other uh, materials um, for now let's just focus on what I'm trying to do so I'll keep drifting away there's so much content in this game you are just going to love it I mean I couldn't possibly cover it all but I'm going to try my damnedest and this, I'm probably going to be here in twenty in the year 2050 still going with episode 1 million and I don't know whatever but anyway I'm straying so we've got our campfire next what we've got to do is cook up old Bertie the fish Okay, and we're going to put him in with one pumpkin and a potato. And we're going to use we're going to use our pottery bowl, which we was given at the very beginning of the game. Okay, so let's grab the pottery bowl, close that. Okay, here's our pottery bowl. So we left click and drag the pike into the bowl. Notice the. Uh, plus mark okay so there's the pipe we left click drag the pumpkin in and we left click and drag the potato in okay so we got Bertie pumpkin and potato all having fun together right now let's right click the campfire left click open that brings up a new window we'll drop the pottery bowl into the campfire expand that now if we right click on the pottery bowl and left click examine it will tell us down here a clay bowl hardened by fire it will then tell us it can be improved it can be improved and then last of all which is the interesting bit we was looking for the difficulty of this casserole is 28 so that's saying that my um, optimum uh, skill gain will be up until 28 if we go to skills and if we find cooking okay that cooking is on 1.64 and hot food cooking which is what I'm doing hence the heat and the campfire and so we'll see when this cooks my skills will go up how lovely is that <laughs> I mean instant gratification am I not only getting food but I'm seeing my skills getting up and if I right click on hot food kicking cooking and go to Wormpedia. Okay, up here in here it'll tell us just while we're waiting for that food to cook because it doesn't cook instantly. It is very accurate. It'll take a little time. So here it says skills, hot food cooking. Hot food cooking involves the creation of food. Sorry, I know that that's not very clear to read here. Hot food cooking involves the creation of food by putting ingredients in a container and putting the container in the fire. Stones ovens, stone ovens and campfires are common ways, yes. And down here it shows you as you get to different levels, which is why I brought this up to show you, you get not only new titles, okay, you'll get titles, but also the improvements, your quality level of your food will go up and so it will feed you better, it will put your nutrition rate higher. Oh, it all works wonderfully, it really does. So, we're looking at this. Now, if I, do you see the little, I, I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but there's a tiny little dot above each of the three bits of food and a tiny little dot above the um, pottery bowl. Oh, there we are, the food is cooked, so I'm gonna quickly take out the uh, pottery bowl because otherwise the food would get too hot to eat and then we'd have to wait a while but yeah so there's a tiny little icon above them that's telling you the heat it changes color depending on how hot it is when it goes to very hot then it turns reddish and also you'll see hovering over it it says it is hot just like it does for the pottery bowl so there's two indications one it tells you in text and one there's a little icon above the item okay so there's our food let's eat some it's only 2.13 but then we only used one pumpkin and uh, one fish a pike now pumpkins the reason I used a pumpkin I'm um, sorry I was going to explain that wasn't I the reason I use a pumpkin is a pumpkin's weight is much higher than most of the other vegetables that you can cook with <coughs> The potato, for example, was a fraction of the weight. I believe the potato was 0.05, where the pumpkin was 0.20. It was it was much more substantial. I will 
I will take a look at that when we get onto farming. I'll show you the weights and uh, the, yeah, the weights of all the different vegetables. So there we go. That is uh, why we use a pumpkin. We use a pumpkin because we need to use less of them, and because uh, when we we use them for creating meals, well, that pure and simple. We can use them for creating meals in a frying pan. When I get to that, and uh, I'll do a cooking episode with an oven and different types of foods and different types of utensils because we're only using a basic pottery bowl. We'll go over some of the different types of cooking utensils you can use and the different effects that they can give the different types of foods. For a casserole, the, goal, the, th the thing with casseroles are is they aren't as good quality as meals. Meals feed you better. Okay, You will see on me a meal we'll do a proper cooking episode. For now it was just a quick one. Okay, let's move on. So before we do that, let's quickly eat. Notice up here, as I'm eating, on the bottom right here, you can see eating progress up here now. As I eat, you'll see my new, my food level is going up and my nutrition. If you eat food while it is still hot or warm, it will give you more nutrition than if it is cold. If you eat it cold, it will you will eat the, the food quicker and it will not give you as much nutrition so pro tip there eat, always eat your food while it is hot or warm to get more nutrition now as you can see though I'm going through all of this casserole I mean look it's down to 0 0.90 87 84 because it's not a very good quality it's a low quality level meal a um, low quality level ca casserole if it was a high quality level casserole it would be feeding me better but of course, if we had a meal, that would be even better. But we'll get into all of that a bit better later on. For now though, you can see I've got my nutrition now up to 28% and my food to 90. So that's good enough. There we go, I've eaten all the food. Greedy guts, mate. I'll probably end up rolling around on the front of this camera, but hey. Now let's move on. So I wanted to do that. And next we're gonna take a look at binding the keys. Now, with binding the keys, it will make the game... Uh, I mean, the game's fantastic. The game is so much fun, but it's all about, in, you know, making the little self-improvements in a game to suit your style. And one of the best things you can do, if you don't like right-clicking, some people do, you see, like, you notice, I, I don't mind right-clicking half the time and then left-clicking sub-menu, but a lot of people out there prefer to be able to just press a key and it does the action hence key bindings now they have under settings added a key bindings tab but first I'm going to show you the old school way the way I've always done it whilst I've played worm online over the last seven years so we'll go over I'll go over showing you that and I'm going to go over the uh, commands the common actions that I've used and let's get started so what we're doing is we're gonna do something like for example the first one we will do is digging so where is my there we go I'd hidden it okay so there is my uh, oh we are gonna have some fun with leather working because I tell you what we are definitely gonna sort this tool belt out to get a much better one one that stretches over here I don't want to be too optimistic but I'm hoping to go for at least seven slots on it anyway let's not drift okay so we're gonna do dig so first of all okay let's find a spot to demonstrate this so if I oh I'm gonna make rainstorm so angry probably by digging up a perfectly flattened lands but hey that's the risk that I've prepared to take I'm sure she'll forgive me in the end okay so let's go just here I'm going to be in the black books for sure, but anyway. So, here's where we're going to demonstrate the binding of the first key. We're going to do dig. So, to bind a key, what we have to do is we first have to bring up um, the console window. So, in order to do that, though, was the console in this one? Yeah, console. So we click console that brings up the console do not be afraid it's okay it's harmless it's great 
down here where the blinking cursor is, and I'm not trying to be rude, we're going to type it in. Now, you can use whatever key you like. When you use a key that the game has already used for, for something else, like for example, if I was to press the letter S in there and to try and bind that key, it will come up with a warning saying that that key is already used for walking backwards. So if I uh, wasn't in the, cancel, in, in the console and I pressed S, I'd start walking backwards. So if you overwrite any keys that have been assigned, you can reset them. So don't worry, don't panic. Just try not to do it, though. If it comes up a window saying, are you sure you want to over... Do not overwrite any of the keys. Because what you can do, if you're adamant to use the letter S, in the new system with the key bindings, they have a... You'll see under the Terraform option, they have a modifiers, so you can actually set a, a, it to Control S or Shift S. It's fantastic. But for now, I'm going to use my key, which I like to use because it's in the place I've always used it, which is the V key. So we type in D. You type whatever letter you want. Okay. Then I'm going to type in the um, the command. Oops. Sorry. Off to a bad start here. First of all we type bind that's the command that we want to use here then we type the letter so V and then we type what we want it to do in this case we want it to dig so if I press enter key binding saved okay let's close that and I'm going to move that because I'll need it again if I now press the V key, and you have to trust me that I'm pressing the V key on the keyboard. Oh, it didn't work. Why? <laughs> I d I, I, okay, let's be honest. I didn't do that on purpose, but now in hindsight, I'm glad I did that on purpose. Because you'll do the same. If I can do it, and I've played this game for years, so can you. You first need to activate the tool which you are using for the key binding. So if it doesn't work don't go off on the deep end and start going into settings and rebinding mapping every key in the game looking for the solution just start simple because invariably that's always where you'll find the answer right at the simple start and it was simply that i didn't activate the tool i want to use so let's try again if i now press the v key oh there we go look at that success digging okay so now in here we got some dirt so let's just right click and drop it on ground because I don't want rainstorm screaming at me not that she does but hey there we go let's drop it back so there we are so that's how you uh, bind keys would I stop there no because this as you're gonna appreciate before long I want to make this a thorough play let's play I want to be thorough I don't want to try and run away from things if uh, they prove to be a little more difficult why am I saying this why am I waffling on well let's quickly show you because it is important okay so that was for digging that was a nice easy command it was easy because there was only one word dig what's what if you want to do something like um, mining and you want to mine up or you want to mine down now you can mine straight ahead by doing let's show you so I'm not going to go in there okay but this is to do with mining now so for mining same as before okay I'm going to show you how to mine straight how to mine up and mine how to mine down if you look here if we take a quick peek without going in because it's going to get too dark you see that's going down that's a slope and like I said when I created this mine I like to go to two two tiles in so there's two slopes there one two then I went straight so we're gonna go mining down we're gonna do mining straight and we will do mining up oh and it's fantastic because if you get to a mountain and that you're, you're at the bottom of the mountain uh, you can start mining at the bottom and do a mine that goes all the way up in a vertical shafts and you can come out at the top which would possibly otherwise not be reachable so okay back to key bindings so to bind for mining, we're going to do mining straight ahead as normal first of all. We go to the console, okay, we type in bind. Now the key I like to choose for this, which was actually logical, is the M key for mining. And then a space, and then we just type mine. Press enter, 
Oh, mine. Ah, okay, I know exactly why. We have to do find space M space mine underscore. Do not do a space. It might work, but I'm not going to show you that way because I don't know if that works. Some when we go back to the old DOS days, a lot of programs didn't like spaces, and so you have to use underscores. This likes underscores, so we do mine space underscore forward. Now we press enter. There we are. So now when I press the M key, providing I have my, uh, let's close the console quickly, providing I've activated my pickaxe, if I now press the M key, you see it says here you're too far away to do that because I would have mined forwards. Okay, let's go back to the console. And let's type bind. Okay, I bind the first key to the left of my M key, which is N, and then I do mine underscore down. Press enter, and that's saved. And the last one, of course, bind, and then the next key along from my N is the B. I'm working to the left. And then a space, and then mine underscore up and there we go that is how you mine in you, sorry that is how you bind in bind different keys to doing different directions so we've got close that so now we can mine forwards by pressing M we can mine down by pressing N and we can mine up by pressing the B key so there we are we have all three done. Now I'm going to stop the video there because I actually uh, don't realise, I don't know how long this video has been running because I was too concerned about all the video problems that I've been having so I'm really praying that I've not gone on for about three hours in this video. If I have I'll probably be kicked out of YouTube. Wow, so anyway thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Um, please be patient with me that uh, I've not been long making videos I've just decided to do it because I enjoy playing games so much why not share some of the fun that I have with others so I hope it's been helpful I hope you have a lovely day thank you for watching and goodbye